We're at the Mayor Ranch Passive Treatment System in Commerce, Oklahoma. My name is Robert Nairn. Uh, I am a professor in the School of Civil Engineering and Environmental Science at the University of Oklahoma. The problem here is that we have some mine water that is upwelling from the underground workings, the old lead zinc mining district. Uh, water coming to the surface is contaminated with iron, lead, cadmium, and zinc. And we're planning on, uh, in the next year, designing and building a passive treatment system on this property to treat that water to improve quality in the local streams. So the water that comes out of the ground here has about 200 milligrams per liter iron, which is um, several orders of magnitude from what we would like to see in the receiving streams. Uh, and sure enough, when it comes out, it'll stain the, the banks of the stream. Uh, in our case, it's staining the banks of our ponds. Uh, but that iron, the pond is designed to remove that iron, so we're dropping it out of solution and retaining it in the passive treatment system. So we want to get air back into the water. One side has a windmill, the other side has the solar unit. Why do this? It's the right thing to do. This water has been flowing unabated from these underground mines since the late 1970s. In 1984, it was determined under the first operable unit under Superfund that uh, the surface waters were irretrievably damaged. And essentially, um, not a whole lot has done since then until we built this system in 2008. So we're hopeful that this is a model, um, at least a, 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 the concept can be applied to, to all the water in the Tar Creek watershed. Better for the environment, better for people, better for, for, uh, for everyone. Um, Tar Creek has flowed orange for a long time. Um, my hope is that someday it, it'll flow clear.